So now we back to the damn crown, right? So today I'm gonna to be going ahead and removing the bottom seat and the back seat. So on the inside. So these seats are sitting on kind of like a spring lotus system. But there ain't no spring, it's really weird how it works. So it's sitting in a seat cup with a clamp. The bottom of, that's bolted to the bottom of the seat has a bar that fits in this, okay? So all you have to do, crawl across the seat, rip your hand underneath there, and just like that, you want to feel for it, and then you want to give it a good he off. Oh yeah. Oh, all that dog hair. Then there's some bullets. Oh, there's another one down here. That one, 40 caliber. I'll put your wiener in the dirt. So, yeah, after that, it's pretty simple. Just pull it out. Hey, that's a lot of dog hair. It was getting in my mouth. So, these are those bars I was talking about that are molded into the seat itself. So, and here's the C-clamps I was talking about. This bar just sits right in there. Once it's in, it goes up under, and it kind of cocks itself in there. So now I'm going to go ahead and stick this out. We'll go ahead and remove that. So now for the back seat, this is kind of the same same way really. It's It's got three spikes that sit in the back behind this seat. But before you do that, you have to remove these sockets that are in here. There's four of them in this. And uh, once you get all the, don't let another bullet in there. Ugh, uh, shotgun shell. Well, that one's rusty. Don't trust that one. Put that in the back. So there's four of them all along the back here. They're an 18 millimeter. You want to make sure you got a deep socket to get on this. And then you just want to crank them suckers out there. It's going to be pretty tight for the first half. and start setting these things on the back back of the car. Tip of the tricks here. I like to thread those back on so you never lose them. Ooh, these suckers are on there good. You can definitely tell if they've never been taken off before. Once that one's off, you want to go ahead and put your seat belt up there. And once again, as soon as that's off, you want to go ahead and put that back on there so you never lose your parts. Get some of this dog hair up out of here. or something. So, that one comes right off of there. Yeah, they're hot too. All right, and then for the last one, crawl across this nasty seat. Make sure you get that on there nice and snug.
It's got pretty good. Okay, this is not close. Thought it was close, but it's not. I'm gonna go ahead and remove that also. Then, for the end bolts, in order to get the seat out, you gotta make sure that they are off. Just make sure to put them right back on after you get the seat out. Man, it's warm. And the seat lifts up there. Grab this side. Put your hand up under there. And voila. Alrighty. So, like I said before, there's three little clips in these, and they hook right onto these spikes. That's what I like to call them, because that's what they look like, or scorpion tail. But yeah, there's your trunk, your soundproofing, a little bit of extra padding so you're not just right, riding on the middle. Yeah, go ahead, take this on out. Make sure to put your Thread your bolts back on there so you don't lose anything. And then you're good to go. You can go from there and release the carpet in the back, clean that out. Um, any questions or concerns? You can always hit me up in the comments. Thank you much, guys.